now just because of phase difference between voltage and current by 90 degrees see in the case of resistance voltage and current both are under same phase right now this is called voltage now this is called what to say current both are under same phase now in the case of inductor current is lagging by 90 degrees with respect to the voltage right this is the standard direction if you go like this plus 90 if you go like this minus 90 thereby the voltage is lagging behind sorry current is lagging behind the voltage by 90 degrees that's why the voltage along voltage across the inductor is taken on like this this is called vl now in the capacitor current is leading the current is leading the voltage by 90 degrees therefore vc is represented by like this now the resultant of vr and vl and vc is equals to what do you say right e now the resultant of the resultant of right resultant of vl and vc only two the resultant of vl and vc is represented by is represented by represented by what to say od the resultant of vl and vc now the resultant of this is representing ob this is representing what to say oc if you convert now as the vl is greater than vc as the vl is represented vl is greater than vc then this is represented by that is od this is called what to say vl minus vc right now what is vl minus vc this is vl minus vc let us consider now this is called vl now this is called vc now this is called vr right the resultant of vr vl vc is equals to e first of all we are keep like this now vl is there vc is there right both are quite opposite right vl is along the positive y axis vc is along the negative y axis both are in opposite phase the resultant of vl and vc the resultant of VL and VC is represented by what to say OD. Right? Why? Because along the OD means VL is greater than VC. As VL is greater than VC, the resultant of VL and VC is represented by OD. Next. Right? By using the parallelogram law of vectors. By using the parallelogram law of vectors, this is called what to say? Right? OD. This is called OE right a b c d e let us consider f now this is called what to say v r this is called what to say v l minus v c now this is called what to say o f is called what to say resultant e m f therefore the resultant e m f o f square is equals to O F square is equals to O A square O A square plus what to say O D square. Now O F square is equals to what to say E square O A that equals to V R square plus O D that is V L minus V C whole square. Therefore now E is equals to square root of V R square plus write vl minus vc whole square now e is equals to square root of what is vr i into r whole square plus now vl i into xl minus that is i into xc whole square therefore e is equals to i into square root of r square plus x l square minus x c whole square that implies i is equals to i is equals to that is e by square root of r square plus 
that is x l square minus x c square. Therefore, i is equal to e is equal to what to say e naught sin omega t. Therefore, e naught sin omega t by square root of that is r square plus x l square minus x c whole square. Therefore, that implies i is equal to e naught by square root of r square plus that is x l square minus x c whole square sin omega t. Therefore, this may be represented by i is equal to i is equal to that is i naught sin omega t i naught sin omega t. Therefore, here i naught is equal to where i naught is equal to e by square root of that is r square plus x l minus x c square. Now, this is equal to what to say e by that is z of what to say l c r z of l c r therefore here z of l c r is equal to square root of r square plus what to say x l square minus x c square now here i is equal to i is equal to e naught by square root of r square plus x l square minus x square sin omega t Therefore, this whole represented by I naught, I naught is equal to, right, what do you say, e by square root of r square plus x l square minus x s square, e by, this term represented by the term, resistance term, that resistance term is represented by z of l c r, this is known as impedance, impedance, right, the impedance, that is impedance. What is the impedance? The resistance offered by the whole circuit is called impedance. The resistance offered by the whole LCR circuit is represented by Z of LCR is equal to square root of L square plus XL square minus XC square. Now here in this case. Now here current is lagging behind. Current is lagging behind or to say e by 90 degrees only in the case of inductor right current is leading by the voltage by 90 degrees only in the case of capacitor current and voltage both are under same phase here is also current there is a current here is also voltage in the case of lcr circuit in the case of lcr circuit what is the what is the EMF? E is equal to E naught sin omega t. What is the current? Current is equal to I naught sin omega t. What is the maximum current? Maximum current is equal to E by square root of R square plus XL square minus X square. But here, what is the phase difference between current and EMF? What is the phase difference between the current and the EMF in the case of LCR circuit? What is the phase difference between current and EMF? Total current and total EMF in the case of LCR circuit is represented by phi. Therefore, tan phi is equal to tan phi is equal to what to say opposite side. What is the opposite side? VL minus VC. VL minus that is VC. VL minus VC by what to say VR. VR. That is, what is VL? VL is equal to I into XL minus VC is equal to I into XC by I into R. Therefore, tan phi is equal to tan phi is equal to I I get cancelled. Therefore, XL minus XC by R. This is the phase difference between EMF and the current in the case of LCR circuit. Now, this LCR circuit has a peculiar importance. What is that peculiar importance?